What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the volume of composite solids. So we're gonna do cones, cylinders, spheres, and hemispheres, all right? So we're gonna go over two examples. Let's start with this first one right here. So in order to find the volume of this solid, we have to first find the volume of the cone that's down underneath, and then find the volume of this half sphere, or in other words, a hemisphere, and then just add those two together to get the total volume. Okay, so here we can say that the total volume, so we're gonna say total volume, is equal to the volume of, again, the cone underneath, plus the volume of the uh, hemisphere. Okay, so starting with the volume of a cone, the formula to find the volume of a cone is one third times pi r squared h where R is the radius of the cone and H is the height of the cone. So that's the volume of the cone. And then we're gonna add that, right, to the volume of the hemisphere, which the volume of just a regular sphere is 4 thirds pi R cubed, okay? But a hemisphere is half a sphere. So we're gonna take the volume of a sphere and just multiply it by 1 half. All right, so this is all going to be equal to, let's see, one third times pi times the radius squared, and we're talking about the cone, right? So the radius of this cone, as you can see, it's right up here. It is given as six feet. So we're going to plug in a six right there, and it's squared, and then times the height of the cone. As you can see, the height of the cone is given as 12 feet. And then again, we're going to add that to the volume of the hemisphere, and one thing that we can do right off the bat is just combine these fractions, all right? So if you multiply them together, on top we get one times four, which is four, and on the bottom we get two over three, which is equal to six. And that reduces down to two over three, all right? So we can replace these fractions, we can basically rewrite these as two thirds, all right? So we're gonna say two thirds, and then times the rest of our formula, right? Pi times the radius cubed. Now let's plug in the radius, for the hemisphere, and it's the exact same radius as the cone here, which is six feet. So we're gonna get six cubed. All right, so let's simplify some things here, and I'm just gonna keep moving to the left to have some more room. So this is gonna be equal to one third times pi times six squared. Six squared is equal to 36, and then times 12. And then we're gonna add that to, again, this one over here, which is 2 thirds times pi times six cubed, and that's equal to 216. All right, so if we simplify some things here, 1 third times 36 times 12, that's equal to 144. And then we still have our pi right there, right? So let's make sure we tack that on. And then we're gonna add that to this number, 2 thirds times 216, that's equal to 144 also, and don't forget, we still have a pi right there as well. So then here, this is gonna be equal to 288 pi, and if you plug that into your calculator, you'll get that this is equal to approximately 904.78, and our units, we're talking about volume here, right? And they're in feet, so we're gonna get feet cubed, boom. All right, let's try one more here. So this time you can see that we have a cylinder, right, it's just laying on its side, and we have a, another hemisphere attached at the end, right, just this half sphere. Okay, so in order to find the total volume of this solid, we're gonna say that the total volume is gonna be equal to the volume of, we'll say the cylinder, and I'll just abbreviate it, cylinder, plus the volume of the hemisphere. So the volume of the hemisphere. So then here we're gonna say that the total volume is equal to the volume of the cylinder. Now, the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h, right? And then we're gonna add that to the volume of the hemisphere, which remember is one half of the volume of the sphere so we could just write that as two thirds times pi r cubed. All right, so let's start plugging in some numbers. So here, this is all gonna be equal to pi times the radius squared. So the radius of the cylinder here, you can see it's given as 10, 
So we're going to say 10 squared times the height of the cylinder. You can see from one end to the other end, that total length right there is 18 centimeters. So we'll place 18 right there. And then we're going to add that to 2 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. And the radius for this hemisphere is the exact same radius as the cylinder, right? Same thing right here and here. So 10 centimeters. All right, so 10 and that is cubed. All right, so then this is going to be equal to pi times 10 squared. That's equal to 100. So we get 100 times 18 plus, uh, let's see, 2 thirds times pi times 10 cubed is 1,000. All right, now if you multiply this out, so pi times 100 times 18, this is going to be equal to approximately 5,654.87. And then we're going to add that to uh, the volume of the hemisphere over here. So 2 thirds times pi times 1,000, and that's equal to about 2,094.4. <laughs> that's a 9, sorry. Learned that a long time ago. That's a 4. All right, and if you add those two together, you'll get that the total volume is about 7,749.26, and our units are centimeters, so we get centimeters cubed. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.